My name is Scott Colosimo and this is Cleveland Cycle Works. You know, I'm a, a guy that grew up, you know, middle class background, but a lot of uh, support and a lot of people who really had good ideas and believed that you could really do anything. The, the security that our fathers knew, our mothers knew, our grandfathers, it, it doesn't exist. You know, you have to make your own opportunity. No one's going to hand them to you anymore. So we, we design, engineer, develop, um, basically IP for motorcycles, and then we, we go into production with them. One of the first memories I have is, like, myself on a little pedal bicycle, like, pedaling down the street on this, like, little teeny red bike that my aunt bought me. I've always had an obsession just with things that have wheels and move. But I had another job. I was actually writing a business plan for Cleveland Cycle Works. 40 hours at work, maybe 60 hours at work, plus another, you know, whatever. I was sleeping like two hours a night, so I was building bikes in the shop of my other work. <laughs> and I took the business plan I'd been kind of writing and changing for about two years and decided I would pitch it to a few people. And I pitched it to a few people and uh, one of my buddies who also got laid off said, you know, let's do it. A lot of people think that we're a custom shop, and that's not really true. Um, you know, small volume manufacturing is still done on an assembly line. You're still using, you know, uh, stamped fenders and stamped tanks, and uh, it's just on a much smaller volume than, say, like Honda or Kawasaki. You know, everything kind of falls into place. Um, you know, I was just probably like everybody else growing up in Parma, Ohio. <laughs> You know, I had to get the hell out of Cleveland, and I did. I got out of Cleveland, and it really took me to leave to realize how unique Cleveland is. And also, people make things here. And there's a lot of places I go and travel to where nobody makes anything. <laughs> and you don't realize how special it is to have so many people who know how to make things. So we make things in Cleveland, and that's, that's kind of unique. You know, what we're trying to do now is bring all of that production here back to Cleveland. It's, it's a lot more than just the manufacturing. I think the, the biggest part of what we do is we create ideas. So we need designers, engineers, fabricators, we need people who actually can take you know, whatever's in their head and, and put it down and make, make it real. Kind of a new generation of entrepreneurs that we're making it happen with no money and, and ideas. If there's motivation I can provide, you know, showing people like, you know, you can do it. And it's not easy. Um, if you really work hard and you really push forward, you could, you could do anything you want.